dear Karen and friends, uh, unless Bob Schultz is in the audience, I'm probably the only one here who, uh, I mean, no one else here has spent new Tom for as long as I did. I first met him in 1962 when he was a graduate student of Norm Abramson's at Stanford. And so, of course, I have many happy uh, memories and stories. But in the interest of time, and to supplement some of the other speakers, I'll fast forward to March 27th. Uh, when, uh, I, I'm a late riser, when I opened my email, I found, uh, I was shocked to find a email from Sergio Verdu sent to all the Shannon lecturers announcing that Tom had passed away. Uh, when I recovered uh, my senses, I sent out a brief message to the replying to Tom and the others and uh, sent it to the E department at Stanford. Uh, and what I wrote was, so hard to accept. Such a brilliant, warm, gracious, and kind, and handsome person, called away far too soon, a great loss of a wonderful friend. And I got several nice messages in return, and I picked three of them to share with you. The very first response I got was from the president of Stanford, John Hennessy, who wrote, Tom, a real tragedy, especially on the eve of his election to the NAS. Now, that's the National Academy of Sciences. And election to the NAS for engineers was a very high honor because out of, say, 2,000 members, only 50 are in the computer and information sciences. Now, I had nominated Tom earlier that year, and he made it, after his in a somewhat arcane election process, to the final ballot, which means that his election was virtually assured. And I'd been looking forward I, I don't think he had some indication that this may happen, but I was looking forward to congratulating him in a few weeks. And it's one of my regrets that, uh, you know, I did not know that he was in the hospital. I would have tried to encourage him to hold on for a few weeks more because that honor cannot be given posthumously. Uh, the next uh, letter I want to read is from one of our uh, secretaries of many years at ISL in the Duran building. How sad, uh, hello dear TK, how sad I am to learn of Tom Cover's passing. Always remember his huge smile and good humor. I know you were good friends and I'm so sorry for your loss. He was one of the charismatic good guys with a great sense of humor. Not to mention how I remember all the ISL secretaries in the 70s and 80s had big crushes on this handsome professor. I think the students did too. The guys wanted to be like him, and the women wanted to date him. <laughs> this is, uh, you and I are from the era when people talked, Stanford era, when people talked and got to know each other. Tom was bigger than life, so vibrant with everyone in the office and classrooms. His corner office was filled with students waiting for him at all times. This is very sad. And I hope there's a big casino where he always beats the house waiting for him. <laughs> then the last uh, mail, the mail that I'm going to read out is from uh, Dave Brainerd, who is head of the psychology department at the University of Pennsylvania. He was a student at Stanford, and uh, he was encouraged to take information theory. And he wrote a beautiful long letter, <coughs> but let me just read out a paragraph which will be relate to what Paul Cuff just mentioned. When I, what I remember more, however, is the experience of going to his office. At first, this was generally because I was stuck on a homework problem and thought, silly me, that I might get some help with it. Inevitably, there were several of his PhD students already there talking about something. But I don't think it was ever about the course. You'd knock on the door, and Tom would boom out, come in. Then he'd smile at you like you were his long lost cousin and say, have a seat. Usually this had to be on the floor because every other surface was covered with stacks of paper. <laughs> and then he'd say something like, we're just thinking about Kolmogorov's conjecture that and then his quotation ends, and he says, whether that was the last thing I actually understood in the sentence. <laughs> but the sentence ended with saying, and maybe you'll be able to help us. 
maybe you'll be able to help us out. Fat chance. But I would sit and listen and sometimes learn a little. I don't think it ever helped me with the homework problem I was trying to solve, but it was pretty fun. So I started dropping by even when I didn't have a homework problem I needed help with. <laughs> and to conclude, you know, I like to, from time to time, bring this image up in my mind. Uh, Tom loved many results in information theory. The AEP was one, by the way. And the other was the slepian wolf theorem on coding for correlated sources. And so I like to think that in some quiet corner of heaven, Dave Slepian and Jack Wolf and Tom Cover are having lively discussions about information theory.